Hello, and welcome to another part of my uh, 3D printed video, uh, this time in the series uh, Replicator. If you remember, I already printed uh, my, well, Mark 1 Replicator, uh, that you can see here, but as you may remember, I wasn't really that happy with the design, mainly the fact that I had to uh, use a glue. So that is why I decided to design a Mark II that would be completely glue free. So let's go uh, take a look at the model. Okay, so uh, we are now in Creo and this is the Mark II replicator model. As you can see, it is a little bit different than the Mark I. Um, yeah, first and most obvious thing is the different color. Uh, right now I decided to go with the uh, gray or, or silver to represent the replicator as they were shown uh, later in the series. But there are uh, many more differences. So, uh, as I said, uh, there would be no glue at all. Or at least that's the plan. Um, maybe reality will prove me wrong but in the model itself as is the, as is as it is now de designed there is no glue needed and that is because uh, i design designed this these specs that works basically just like in lego technic i uh, will not deny that that was my main inspiration and uh, basically all the joint, joint blocks have their corresponding holes and it should all snap together. Hopefully everything fits together really nice. I already made some demo pieces and it worked nicely, but obviously it's different to have two blocks and, well, entire body. Uh, you may also notice that I made the legs uh, shorter. Um, that's one of the problems uh, with the Mark One that the legs, even though they uh, they looked more well screen accurate, they uh, they were so long that um, they were kind of wobbly. The every, everything about that was so floppy and unstable. So I decided to make the legs a little bit shorter. Also, I uh, bear in mind that I would like to put the model into my vitrine, so the lack of space is also a concern here. As you can see, it's uh, the overall design is more or less the same as with the previous version. There are few differences, but uh, yeah, overall it is kind of the same. Now, here, for example, you can see that instead of uh, one block that was turned sideways uh, here and that had to be glued, I now have it like this. Sure, that would mean that uh, the part will be way longer to actually uh, print out. Um, it will take longer, uh, but I don't really mind that. Um, the different uh, d uh, different thing here is that i don't really want to use the glue by the way the uh, mark one replicator i gave it to my friend chris in germany and he's really happy with it at least that's what he told me so yeah it's it not came to waste anyway if you can see uh, here at the model tree, it is um, the model is divided into several uh, sub-assemblies. The main one is obviously the body. Then we have all four legs. And then we have primary wings, secondary wings and sides to basically fill the holes. And that's it. So if we take a look at the body, that's the main body assembly. Now, it's not uh, entirely accurate what you, you what you see here, because obviously when this is already in this very state, the legs has to be 
already attached because I cannot really attach them later. But I I know that and I will uh, of course bear that in mind. But uh, simply for the sake of the model structure, I wanted to have uh, to uh, the the model uh, divided into sub assemblies per their well functionality and. This is body and legs are legs, so that is why they are not here. But that's I'm just saying that to be clear. Now, this uh, this assembly, this main body assembly, is also as you can see divided into several different uh, sub assemblies. And the plan is that everything will fit together without a single drop of glue. I really hope that this plan will work. Now I uh, had to make some compromises here. For example, here you can see that there is a clear collision. Sure, model-wise there is collision, however this will this entire piece will be printed as one piece, this entire sub-assembly. So this is really not an issue and it will simply be printed as one piece. And uh, it is made in such a way to actually hold everything together. Also in the very first part here you can see that I had to get rid of those those pieces uh, of the block that are here and it is simply to have uh, free space for the adjacent part. Now I will, uh, w when I will start to, to print the model, I will uh, of course make um, the detail overview of that specific part that I'm printing and how will it actually fit together. Because yes, yeah, sure, I already started to make basically an assembly instruction with uh, pictures, well, kind of like uh, in Lego. But to be honest, I am not sure if I will be, well, not able, but if I will be uh, willing to actually finish it because right now I really don't want to and considering that every time uh, before I will I did something like that uh, it was always a video uh, instruction so in my video assembly you could see how the things fit together and uh, use that for the assembly and maybe I will do it here as well, but I'm not sure yet. Because, for example, here the body, as you can see, it is quite, uh, quite complex. It is uh, not that simple. So, um, yeah, that remains to be seen. But I think it may actually work. It... Uh, yeah, sure, it will most likely not be able to sustain its own weight uh, when it's standing. I don't really mind that, because uh, even when it uh, sits on the, on the well, belly, I guess, uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't break anything, and it still looks very nice. So, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, uh, in case of uh, features, the secondary wings, they are here on this pivot and they can actually uh, rotate around, uh, though, well, don't know if it will look that nice. And the primary wings, they are here on this pivot, so they will be Move, uh, able to actually move up and down a little bit to simulate that well that movement that the replicators did when threatened um, and of course as in before the legs ha have all the uh, uh, 
moving moving digits digit one two three and four so they can move in every direction as you can after all see here okay so this is the model and this is my replicator mark 2 model and in following days and weeks uh, more videos will come because uh, spoiler alert i already started to print it the pieces from the main body so in few few days or a week or so uh, you can look forward another video uh, considering uh, concerning the the main body and uh, of course you will see the printed parts and hopefully me assembling them together okay well for now that's all i know it's a rather short video but this was more of uh, informative okay that's it have a very 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 nice day and bye bye